This week at EICMA in Milan, Italy, Kawasaki announced an improved Z900 for 2020. Featuring a new strength and frame, the 2020 Kawasaki Z900 motorcycle's potent 948cc engine shines through with a sharper styling and minimal bodywork. The liquid-cooled DOHC 16-valve 948cc inline 4-cylinder engine offers an impressive power and strong torque. Silky smooth response from mid-high RPMs provide excellent drivability, with hard-hitting power delivery above 6,000 RPM. Good over-rev characteristics means that this power does not drop off suddenly at high RPMs. There are four individual 36mm throttle bodies after ideal mid-range power, and the sub-throttles ensure smooth, sensitive throttle response. The downdraft throttle body layout creates the shortest distance possible for the fuel-air mixture, contributing to nothing but performance. The manufacturing process used for the pistons on the Z900 motorcycle utilizes technology found on Kawasaki's premier supercharged sports bikes, the Ninja H2 and the Ninja H2R. Lightweight and rigid, the pistons are formed using a unique coating process similar to a forging process that scrapes on a necessary material to achieve an ideal thickness. This enables a lightweight piston on par with forged pistons. Engineers use sound research in creating the intake layout. This results in a mix of performance techniques and enhance intake noise. Inside of the upward mounted airbox are varying length intake runners, with the two outside cylinders being larger than the inside two. This results in a tuning that helps both low and top in power output and provides an exhilarating intake noise during large amounts of throttle input. The exhaust system features a four into one layout, with joint pipes leaking the exhaust headers contributing to a strong mid-range torque. The silencer's dual chamber internal construction contributes to performance as well as the exhaust note but we know that the best exhaust note does not mean a lot coming from a factory, so be prepared to see a flooding of aftermarket exhaust coming to the market. Finally, the use of stainless steel material on the end cap and silencer cover adds a high quality feel while contributing to a stylish design that looks compact and light. Short gear ratios for the first through fifth gears contribute to the Z900's motorcycle's strong acceleration and the RPM range used in everyday riding, while six gear is a true overdrive gear. The assistant slipper clutch on the Z900 borrows from engineering knowledge learned on the racetrack from the Ninja H2R and the Ninja ZX10R. The clutch uses two types of cams, an assist cam and a slipper cam. When the engine is operating at a normal RPM, the assist cam functions as a self-servo mechanism, pulling the clutch hub and operating plate together to compress the clutch plates. This allows the total clutch spring load to be reduced, resulting in a lighter clutch lever pull when operating the clutch. When excessive engine braking occurs, the slipper cam comes into play, forcing the clutch hub and operating plate apart. This relieves pressure on the clutch plate to reduce back torque and help prevent the rear tire from hopping and skidding during quick deacceleration. The Kawasaki Traction Control KTRC, featured on the Z900 has three modes for riders to choose from. Mode 1 is the least intrusive with sport riding in mind. Mode 2 offers early intervention and a balance of sport riding support and enhanced rider confidence. And Mode 3 is the most intrusive by allowing riders to navigate challenging road conditions with confidence. The system can also be turned off if riders elect to do so. The Z900 allows riders to choose from full power or low power modes, setting power delivery to suit preference and condition. Low power mode limits output to approximately 55% of full power and uses a milder throttle response. Reduction in both power and throttle response varies according to engine speed and throttle position. All-inclusive modes that link the KTRC system and power modes allow for riders to efficiently set traction control and power delivery to suit a given riding situation with a single adjustment. Riders can choose from three settings, sport, road, or rain. The sport setting enables riders to enjoy sporty riding with minimal intrusion from Kawasaki's advanced electronic riding support package. The road setting provides comfortable riding characteristics over a wide variety of situations, from city riding to highway cruising and rural roads. The rain setting offers riders reassurance when riding an a low traction surface. The riding mode can be changed when riding using a button located on the left side of the handlebars. The lightweight of the Z900 is noticeable as soon as you snap the kickstand up. The chassis is a new high tensile steel twin spar trellis frame that features revisions made to add strength to the swing arm pivot area. The frame was designed to have the fewest bends possible, allowing for a chassis that disperses stress extremely well. The frame designs also keep weight to a minimum. The engine is rigid mountain in five points, aiding in the Z900's nimble handling. Twin tube type rear frame contributes to the bike's low seat height with easy reach to the ground. 
Up front is a pair of 41 mm inverted front forks, which features stepless rebound dampening and spring preload adjustability. Adjustment is via the conveniently located fork top caps. The fork settings were updated to match the new frame. Horizontal backed linked rear suspension positions the shock unit and linkage above the lightweight aluminum swing arm. This arrangement contributes to mass centralization while ensuring that the suspension is located far enough from the exhaust that operation is not affected by heat. The rear shock is also fully adjustable, featuring rebound and preload adjustability. Shock settings were updated to match the new frame and offer both sporty performance and comfort. The Z900 motorcycle features dual 300mm front pedal disc brakes and a 250mm rear pedal disc with ABS. This contributes to the high level of quality and sportiness. Dual pose four piston calipers with resin brake pads offer a linear brake touch, facilitating control of the rider. Stylish star pattern five spoke wheels contribute to lightweight and quality assurance. While their high rigidity benefits handling, the wheels are mounted to new Dunlop Sportmax Road Sport two tires, contributing to the Z900's superb handling characteristics. The Z900 maintains its distinctive Sugami design elements that consist of a crouching stance, low positioned head, and upswept tail. For 2020, the eye-catching styling benefits include a number of updates that make an aggressive design even sharper. New shrouds, fuel tank cover, undercowls, and a silver swing arm pivot cover are all more compact, contributing to a sharper image. A new LED headlamp consists of LED positioned lamps that give it an image distinct from Kawasaki's other Z Super Naked models. The positioned lamp has a textured surface that allows them to be shown as a whole illuminated shape. The new design is more compact with sharper edges. LED lighting is used to illuminate the headlamp, position lamp, tail light, and license plate lamp. The turn signals feature a bulb type lighting. A new 4.3 inch all digital TFT color instrumentation gives a cockpit a high tech and high grade appearance. The new instrumentation offers additional features that were unavailable on the previous model. The high grade full color display features a TFT technology helping deliver a high level of visibility. A selectable background color is offered black or white and a screen brightness automatically switches between three rider set levels to suit available light. Display functions include a digital speedometer, digital bar style tachometer, gear position indicator, shift lamp, fuel gauge, odometer, dual trip meters, current and average fuel consumption, remaining range, average speed, total time, coolant temperature, clock, battery voltage, Kawasaki service reminder, oil change reminder, riding mode indicator, smartphone call and mail notice, Bluetooth indicator, and economical riding indicator. Another new feature for 2020 is the addition of the smartphone connectivity to the Z900. A Bluetooth chip built into the instrument panel enables riders to connect to their motorcycles wirelessly. Using Wideology, the app, a number of instrument functions can be accessed, logged, and reviewed. The following can be viewed, vehicle information, riding log, telephone notices, and tuning. The app can also be used when the motorcycle is away. When riding with the app on, the bike and smartphone are always connected and riding log data is being recorded by the app. After you ride, the latest riding information is stored by the app and may be viewed on the smartphone. Any changes made via the app while the engine is off or while out of range will be implemented as soon as the ignition is turned on and the smartphone is in range with the app on. For 2020, the Z900 motorcycle is available in two colors, metallic graphite gray with a metallic spark black and candy plasma blue with metallic matte fusion silver. And as for MSRP and availability, Great news, the 2020 Z900 is available now in dealerships. For $8,999, you can get the metallic graphite gray, and for $9,299, you can get the candy plasma blue. Now, we're coming towards the end of the video, and I wanted to throw some questions out at you. Do you think this is still the 900cc naked bike to get? For the price, would you rather get this and pocket six grand and not have a supercharger? Do you like the blue and gray color scheme? Because I, I really don't. But Throw your answers and questions below in the comments. Now, go out there and ride safe.